hello everyone in this video we'll discuss about file attributes so some of the properties uh, that we i want to continue with the previous video so next one is file attributes so in addition to the file name and uh, the content whatever we have in the file we also uh, need to include some other properties of the file such as which means some other information about the file such as date and time and uh, when that file has been created and when it has been modified recently and then uh, what could be the size of the file and uh, what what about the protection information and uh, flag value so everything we can represent um, in this file attributes so in some systems we used to term this file attribute as a metadata so that is also uh, which is very similar to this file attribute. So we can call all these information as metadata. So probably when we are accessing in random or else when we are uh, uh, making the file structure as a tree-like structure, which means all the records are represented in tree format. So in that we will be accessing each and every record with the help of the uh, with the help of the um, key value. So all those key value and what could be the key position and key length field and record length field. So everything will comes under this file attribute. So here the flag bit value which is used to, to represent um, uh, the whether any of the flag, uh, any of the file has been modified recently, which means the program, um, I mean, it should be cleared by the uh, program and uh, it should be set by the operating system okay so we can also define whether that particular file has uh, been uh, used as the backup file so if it is recently used as a backup file then we can also say that it is actually the um, uh, with the help of these file attributes we can identify easily whether it is a backup file or any kind of file like that okay these are all some of the file attributes and the next one we will discuss about the file operation. So what are all the uh, familiar operation that we can perform on files? Create, delete, open, close, read, write, append, seek, get attribute, set attribute, rename. So these are all some of the operation that we can perform with their corresponding system call. So in the uh, managing uh, management of operating system itself, we have discussed how to manage the file system. With the help of all those system calls, we can perform the file operations. So correspondingly for all these operations, we have some set of system calls. So we know already what is, these are all very basic operations that we can perform on files. So uh, for creation of the files, we need to use the system called create. And whenever the file operation has been done, and if you want to remove this file from the system, then you can go with this system call that is delete. And before uh, using that file, then you, you need to open it. So for that, you have to use this open system call. And after that, it will close the file. So it is a good uh, practice to close all the files whenever after using all these uh, operations on the files so that it will remove all the internal table structures or whatever we had in the file and if you want to read any content from the file then you can go with this option so this read operation uh, will go to the next entry of the file which means next location so it has to move to the next location so that it will have some pointer value separately for read and write operation and it will increment it to uh, go to the next location and append so in addition to the content whatever we have in the file if you want to add some more new content then we can use this append uh, system call seek is the system call which is used to, to reposition in the file which means if you want to change the position from one location to another location so there could be one file pointer and this pointer has been used to uh, uh, refer each and every content in the file character by character right so uh, seek is used to move uh, the file pointer from one position to another position so for repositioning we can use the system call so in order to get the attributes of the particular file we can go with the system call and if you want to set the attributes which means if you want to change any values of file attributes then we can use the system call that is set attributes rename the file so that has also been done with the help of this system call so if you want to give any new name um, uh, but not deleting that file then we can go with the system call and the next one is 
um, f- directories. So directories which are uh, um, something related to the files, which means very similar to the file system, because in the directory only we used to keep all the files. So it is also said to be folders. So these directories uh, can be structured in different ways. One is single level directory systems, and another one is hierarchical directory systems. Single level directory system, which means if you have only one directory and that directory will be consist of many number of files, that is what single level and uh, whatever the directory we have is said to be the root directory. So in earlier uh, operating system, we used this kind of uh, structuring the directory system, that is single level directory system. So in this, obviously we will be having only one directory, so no need of representing the name of the directory. So it is not necessary to mention only with the name. So if you are making it as a root directory, then we can easily access that. So the advantage of this uh, single level directory system is nothing but it is more simplicity. It is more simple to use and also to implement. And uh, uh, finding the location of the file is quite easy in case of uh, a single level directory. And also we can um we can have the minimal access time for getting the file from the directory because you have only one directory and whatever the files we have under the directory we can use it we can easily search the particular file going to the next is kind of structure of the directory which is nothing but uh, hierarchical directory system so in this hierarchical so we can have many different levels of uh, defining all the directories and also we have many levels of directory so we don't have only one directory because if you are uh, going to work with the multi multiple files which means if you are going to work with a huge number of file system then obviously it is not enough to uh, represent only one directory so you need to uh, extend some more levels in the directory structure which is nothing but hierarchical directory system so you can have many different levels and in that levels we will be having the sub directories also so look at this diagram which uh, uh, clearly mention about the root directory and in the next level you will be having the user directory and the user directory may either belongs to any uh, files or even any other directory. So whichever the directory we have under user directory is said to be user subdirectory and again it will lead to the files. So this is the representation and it looks like a tree structure. So again uh, we can have many number of files and many number of directories too. So if you have more number of files or directory, then you need to specify the corresponding path names. So you need to specify the file or directory with the uh, help of the path name. So there are actually two methods to represent this path name. One is absolute path and another one is relative path name. Absolute path is nothing but whenever you want to represent any of the file, you need to represent the path name uh, right from the root directory. So right from the root directory, if you are representing one particular file, then it is nothing but absolute path. Suppose if you are uh, no need to mention the root directory, so whichever the directory you are working currently from the directory or else you can, uh, en- it is enough to mention only the file name, which is nothing but relative path. So on comparing these two path names, the relative path is quite easy to use than the absolute path because absolute means you have to mention everything, each and everything starting from the root directory. Whereas relative path, so it is enough to keep the only the file name or, ev- or else to which directory it belongs to. Either it could be a user subdirectory or it could be a user directory. So it is not necessary to give all the entire path uh, starting from the root directory. So that is what a relative path name. So many of the operating system will support only the absolute, but nowadays it is support. It is all the operating system are supporting this relative path names. And the next one is finally. So I'd like to explain about the directory operations. So what are all the directory operations? Similar to the files, we can also have some directory related operations, and all those operations can be done with the help of the system calls. Create, delete, open directory, close directory, rename, link and link. So these are all some of the operations which we can perform under directory. Um, So uh, thank you.